Kelsey. All right, Ash, and as Facebook nears its trading debut, many investors are wondering if the eight-year-old company run by a 28-year-old kid wearing a hoodie is really worth $96 billion. Joining us now is John Rettinger, president of the tech blog Techno Buffalo. John, I'm glad you're here. Look, I mean, Thank all you. we're talking about today is ad revenue, right? 82% of the revenue comes from ads. We got GM saying they're backing out. We get reports showing one of every 2,000 ads are clicked on. What does this say about the future? So you can't go anywhere now without hearing about Facebook. Right. So for institutional, institutional investors, there are big red warning signs. But there are also some green lights that might be coming in the future. If you look at their price to earnings ratio, it's 100. You've got an average ratio of about 15 for most companies, and that's being mentioned everywhere. But what people aren't mentioning is Apple, when they IPO'd in 1980, their price to earnings ratio was 92. So if you're going to equate Facebook as the next Apple, you definitely have to look back to the history there as well. Okay, that's a fair point, right? Maybe we should just throw away the old models and start over with this thing. But the question at the end of the day still is how are they going to make money? I mean, there's a big reliance on Zenia. Uh, Zygnia, the game company, I'm thinking ties. There's many skeptics out there, as you said, and of course there's no sequential revenue growth, and that's what's worrying people the most. So that's a valid point. 12% of Facebook's revenue is reliant on Zynga, right. uh, which is those in-app games, see those Farmville that might be out of there. I mean, they're being valued at 24 times their revenue right now. So Facebook has to make a big push to mobile advertising. Right now, 50% of their total views are mobile, but they aren't monetizing them at all. So there's a lot of money being left on the table for Facebook. So can you argue it's a little bit of a risk? Because to your point, more and more people using it on their mobile devices, if they can figure out how to monetize this, this thing's a home run. If they can't, it's going to crash and burn a couple days into trading. You're absolutely correct. And they've already tried mobile advertising with Facebook deals, which completely crashed and burned. On a mobile device, you're dealing with limited space and limited attention in a very short period of time. People just don't right. want ads on a mobile device. They tolerate them on a desktop experience, and Facebook has to find a way to cash in on those mobile views, or they're going to be looking at a very, very, very dark period. It's really interesting that all the insiders that are holding shares now are actually putting more out into the market. Not a positive sign for the company. Not to mention... You really don't have a lot of voting power, right? Because, you know, the 28-year-old in the hoodie still retains all the control. So why do I want to own the stock then? So that, that's a very valid question. There is that billion-dollar question, though, of what Facebook's going to do with Instagram purchase. Uh, right. And that might be how Facebook gets into mobile advertising. Uh, they just purchased uh, the, the photo-sharing uh, platform Instagram. And there's been a lot of talk that they're going to get into a photo a monetization strategy, and that's how they're going to be pushing uh, mobile advertising to the audience. Do you worry about Europe at all? Because about 27% of the 900 million Facebook users are from overseas. You know, I think you talk about Europe and you worry about them uh, as far as how the global economy is, is trending. Uh, Facebook is something that's always going to be there. Uh, one of the really interesting things about Facebook is right now, the book is being written on mobile right. advertising. And Facebook is right. really the first one that's pushed it out there. So we don't know how it's going to go. We're really on the precipice of a complete paradigm shift of business. Uh, yep. Every company, whether they like it or not, is going to be dragged into the mobile world one way or another. Yeah. That's and they're the watching thing. Facebook very closely. That's the thing. This is kind of an unknown bet that we're making here, I think, with this company. John Rettinger of Techno Buffalo, you are terrific. Thank you, sir.